Hello Zebaherd, welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons. It's been a while since I've last played this game, over a year I think, in fact. So that's pretty crazy how much time has passed, but I've really wanted to get back to this game and a couple of other games that I've just sort of lost the time to keep up with. There's been a ton of DLC added to this game since we last played it and it's just a really fun game, so I'm glad to hop back into it. Not only is there a ton of DLC, but there's things like the Adventure Hub here, which seems to be like a season-based thing. As you can see, you can play and earn rewards and such, and that seems really cool. Maybe we'll try to check in with this and make more progress with this if we enjoy the DLC. I wanna catch up with the DLC in this series, and if we wanna see more, we can go from there. With that being said, what DLC are we gonna be tackling? If we uh, click right here to Mission Select, we can sort of see everything that we've been at. So of course, the mainland was the main story, where it looked like, you know, there are some things that might have been added here that I had thought I checked out, but have extra stuff, like the Creepy Crypt. We definitely played through that, but it has some extra stuff. So I think they added more content um, to here. And same thing with this level, there's a hidden reward here. So maybe we'll go back and do that stuff for right now. The new content is what I want to see. So we already did the Jungle DLC and the Winter DLC, but over here, this is the third DLC pack. This was the Howling Peaks DLC, and the first level, Windswept Peaks. So as you can see, there is all sort of levels here. Um, I'm gonna go for the hardest one because the recommended power is 33, but we're already 43? So that should be pretty cool. Um, let's go for it. So I don't think I'm gonna be doing super well at the game just because it's been so long since I last played, so bear that in mind, I might be really rusty. The shards from the Orb of Dominance still wreak havoc on the overworld. And these jagged mountain peaks are no exception. Howling storms scour the path to the summit. And unless the shard is destroyed, these winds will become the storm that blows out the last flicker of hope for this world. Okay, so new objective, explore base camp. So here we are. Oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not gonna go over my weapons and exactly what I have right now. I'm going to sort of assume you guys have seen up to this point in the series, just because that would take a little bit too long. What's going on over here? Okay, I think that'll blow me off, so let's be careful. That didn't have anything. Uh, what about this treasure chest? Uh, arrow bundle, nice. Yeah, the more arrows we have, the better. Okay, let's just try to get across. There we go. I guess we're heading up this way. We can always check the map as well. well what is this over here? Okay, that said something else for a moment on the bottom. Huh. There's a lot of goats around here. The watcher step, we don't want to fall off the side of the mountain at any point or get knocked off. That'd be even worse. But yeah, I guess we'll just sort of look around and see. And like I said before, if I don't play super well, I do apologize, but here we go. Eat up some of these guys and use some of my abilities. Got it. Can I go into any of these? I don't think so. That's where I'll just sort of be checking around. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can put the map up on the screen with that button. Keep that in mind. Oh, we have TNT. How do I use the TNT? I just throw it. Oh yeah, okay. I remember. It's coming back to me. That's fun. All right, so I'll, I'll pick up this one and I'll save it for later. We picked up a Tempest and Knife. Whoa. Okay, will those guys stay in there? Not all of them, not all of them. We're finding some stuff off this way, so we'll explore around a little bit. Get that big icicle slamming down. Because it says up here we're supposed to go to the top right. Going to ignore that. We'll have our potion now. Oh yeah, I do have one upgrade. That's making it so that when I use my potion, it drops other consumables. That's always good. And I think I also have another thing that, yeah, when I roll occasionally, there's a chance it can drop a little bumblebee. So it's probably good to roll a bunch, use potions whenever we can. There we go. It's gotta make the most of our abilities and such. What do we got in here? A bunch of stuff. Another swiftness potion so we can move a little bit faster. I'm getting into the group of things pretty quick, I think. We're figuring it out. Got him. And we're good. So, heading back over here, because I think, yeah, we went full loop there. I would love to hear if you guys have been playing Minecraft Dungeons still, have you checked out some of this new DLC and content? The game's been on Game Pass, so it's been accessible just to play the base game since the launch. Okay, so, gonna heal up a bit there, and I get a strength potion, that's always good. I think I'll slam one of those down. Get that big guy. And I know I have some other gear in my backpack. I, I remember being indecisive on what I wanted to keep with, but so far this is feeling good, so I'll keep with it. Oh no, <laughs> they weren't mean at all. 
I didn't mean to attack them then. Okay, gotcha. Things are looking pretty good. I'm just gonna keep running this way. Of course, our goal is to find as many secrets as we can, but we're doing our best, so we can't expect too much. If we miss anything, you know? Not the end of the world. Okay, so there's that then. I'm supposed to still be going to the right. I can't quite get there. It's all blocked off. Hmm, uh-oh. What's happening? Oh, man. What is this? Whoa. Okay, so many enemies are spawning in. We'll use some of our flame arrows if we can. Get them far away. Oh, there's a TNT over this way. Let's throw that a little too far, unfortunately. Um, it's fine, though. I'll slam that over, slice some of these guys. Gotcha. And now they're done for. Yeah, not bad. Oh, but there's still more. Weren't done there yet. We got a defense brew or a dense brew. I don't know what the dense brew does. Hmm. Can't really click this. See, new objective: find the cave. Oh gosh, more of them are coming in. Gotcha. And over here, one last guy. That fire aspect definitely being useful. So there's lots of ways to go here. We'll just explore as much as we can. And I might have to take out some of the goats there just for their bonus stuff. Or level 50 at the moment, which I feel, I feel like before was the max level, right? But I guess it's been raised. Because I do believe we're getting experience very slowly. It's hard to tell. Sorry, alpacas. Oh, there's a chest over this way. Okay, let's go take a look. I didn't even see that, so luckily I checked the map. Running back over. Okay, here we go again. Oh man, that's always scary. Slamming down on him. Even the goats are, are screaming. Got him. Even more arrows, we have a bunch of arrows right now, so that's nice. Probably wanna make the most of those. I do not have my health potion available at the moment, so I'm trying to be real careful. But a good way to be careful is to you know, keep her distance. I got an apple drop, which gives us some health. Okay. See, you know what, it maybe took a couple moments, but I feel like we're pretty well back in the rhythm. We get ourselves a Tempest Knife. It's a common one, so nothing too crazy there. But I think that's a new type of weapon than what we normally get. So that's nice. I'm taking a look at the map. That's as far as we can go from here. Is there something to the left, though? Sure, it looks like it, but I don't see a way up there. The maps have always been a little bit weird in this game, how they work. By the way, I think we're good to zoom back over. Oh, I see the strength potion I missed before. And I'm going to go this way. You as well. Oh, I see some, oh, that too. We got all sorts of status upgrades right now. It's real nice. Gotcha. Can one hit these guys with the flaming arrow? It's always fun. We're also earning up emeralds along the way, which we can spend at shops and such, so that'll also be good. I have so many arrows now, I really don't have to worry about it, do I? Okay, so we're running back now. Yeah, I've always loved action RPGs like this, so it is really fun that Minecraft was able to make such a cool game with so much content to it. Because there really is a lot to enjoy now with the, uh, there's a lot more endless content as far as I understand. You don't just have to replay through the story levels. There's different kinds of dungeons you can get into. From what I remember hearing, I always try my best not to watch game trailers too much because I always want to experience it for myself. So I don't exactly remember what's been added to this game, but I, I know it's quite a lot, clearly. Okay. Let's pick up that. I got some kind of potion. The shadow form. Whoa, they can't even see me. Got the TNT and everything. So once again, I'm supposed to be going to, th to the right, but if I could go this way first, it's probably for the better. There's no chest or anything. See, I wonder why it's lighter green. Maybe that means we're elevated, or maybe that area is elevated? I think so. Either way, we do have this TNT ready to go when I run into some more enemies. I see one guy over that way. There we go, it's gonna work out. Nice, that was really cool. 
There isn't too much over here. So I think I was right. I think the map changes color to based on the elevation of things. Which can make it a bit easier to find what you're looking for, I suppose. But so far, even though this is the highest difficulty for this level, we're crushing it. Not too much of a challenge at all. Okay, new objective, open the cave pass. Do what I can. Go the staircase, start blasting with the arrows. I'm hearing some growling. It's a little scary, while somebody's chasing me. Gotcha. So now I have the uh, the bows that do the double shot, which is nice. Okay, I've certainly missed a couple of things, but we'll try to go back. And only go one path at a time, after all. So what is that? That was one of the openings to the decay pass. Gotcha. Okay, we'll slam this down on these guys. Pretty good, pretty good. Ooh, more TNT. I can also get myself some Shadow Brew, that'll last for a bit. But this was more so a dead end, unfortunately. So I'll head back. I'll try some of the other ways. You gotta be careful, don't wanna be pushed off if I can avoid it. Because the opening of the cave is right there. So let's see who we can mess with up here. Okay, throw that over, and then, uh, I got some of them. Then I can finish the rest of them off with that. Sort of. Okay, okay. Oh no, whoa! That could have been a lot worse, actually. Um, I can't quite get them. Oh, there we go. This is sort of like a secret area up here. This is neat. Um, but I can't really do anything with it, so we're gonna plop back down and try to get back up there. Get some more arrows, get the dense brew. Maybe with the dense brew, it'd be more difficult to push off. Okay, I'm going back over. I'll wait for the wind to, no, okay, that didn't work. I didn't see it start with that one. The angle is a little weird though. Okay, I have to be really careful because I'm losing health pretty fast. And down here you can see I have three tries before it's sort of game over. Okay, ready? Go, got it. Phew. Okay, that was huge. That was some big moves. Making the most of these flaming arrows where I can. And here's the other one I needed to activate. So I'm glad I got that out of the way. Now that they're gonna throw some enemies at me, right? Yeah, here it goes. Which I think we can handle pretty well. Got some extra potions, more arrows. I have almost 200 arrows now, so. I <laughs> like I was standing on the other guy's head. Come on. Let's back it up a little bit. What is that? That was a battle staff, cool. And then for this way, I'll take out that skeleton. I think that was the last guy. Yes, it was. We get a treasure chest for a problem. Troubles, a bunch of emeralds, and another Tempest Knight. Cool. So heading back out, there is something up this way. I'm a bit curious, so might as well take a peek. <laughs> take a peek here on the windswept peaks. And it wasn't a ton, just a little bottle. We can head out now with our swiftness potion being ever so useful. Will this hurt if I fall? It does a little bit, unfortunate. It's okay. We'll go back down here, because there was still, even that fall hurt? That one was a little silly. Oh, these guys are not happy with me. Gotcha. I need to really choose my battles here, because I don't have too much health. Luckily, I have plenty, and I mean plenty of arrows. So I can really just fight my way at a distance. Do a lot of that, pick up that TNT too. Throw that over, uh, and then skedaddle. I think I got a couple of them. Gotcha. What about you over here? Okay, we're clearing this area out a whole lot more, and I'm able to use the potion now. But luckily, if you do get pretty hurt, it's just a matter of time. So how do I get down there then? I just gotta keep going. Almost there. This area is very extensive. Got it. Okay, now I really don't wanna mess with that one. But on this side, there's gotta be more stuff, right? Uh, there's a pot. That's some emeralds. Is that all? Cause these look fancy, but they don't really do anything. So I think 
that's everything. You can uh, roll across there real quick before it gets me. But what about in here? Is there something? No. Looks like it could have been a little secret, you never know. But I think we've done everything we really can in this area. Try to be super thorough. Let's go through that one door, the cave entrance, right over here, correct? Yep, here it is. So welcome to the Winds of Peaks, explore the cave. Whoa, there's already some bad guys waiting for us. Some supplies in the chest just in case we needed them. Luckily, I don't really, but try to keep it that way. Evoker, oh, where's the evoker? I don't know, but I'm hearing some scary noises, so I'm sure it's close. Oh man. Uh, be careful that here come the traps. Oh, there you are, there you are. Um, Trying to hit you with everything I got. And you are already going down pretty quick. And there it is, strength potion. We didn't even lose really any health there. Awesome. Oh, whoa, pig with the treasure chest, awesome. I got another Tempest knife. <laughs> Hopefully we get a good one sooner or later. But I think with our level deficit, that's just not really gonna happen, unfortunately. Okay, I'm gonna go this way, slam the big ice cube onto them. There's quite a few of them. All right, gotcha. I think, what else are we looking for? Oh, more enemies. I gotcha. More coming in. Ow, that hurt. I think that was you over here. Have to be careful, let's grab that. That shadow attack's always good. Ooh, I gotta learn to dodge that. I thought it was mine for some reason. Ah, oh no, I think I did dodge that one. I need to get rid of you first, cause that, that definitely is a pain. Okay, nice stuff. And that's all of them. We get ourselves another treasure chest which has some TNT in it. Almost a 4,000 emeralds, so definitely have to spend a little bit at the end of today's episode. There you go, guys. Enjoy. <laughs> that's always fun. Use those flame arrows so we're not using our normal arrows if we don't have to. So I think that's really what's enabled us to have so many arrows at this point is that we use the flame arrows first. Oh man. That one is tough to push against. What about you? Seems like you dropped something there for a second, but... Okay. I can't get back up, I'm sort of stuck. Okay, yeah, 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 the wind's gonna happen. Where do I go? Yeah, I can't, uh-oh. Hope I'm not actually stuck. Huh, try this again. No. Okay, well, I guess maybe I have to fall off. Okay, that's a shame. That's our first time falling off. And as you can see, I think we lose one of these, or maybe we don't. I think we only lose one of those when we lose our health all the way. So, could have been worse overall. I guess I will go this way this time. We have to wait about here. Yep. And then go, go, go. Ah, scary. Okay, and am I really missing over anything over on this side? It doesn't look like it, so I think we're good. Gotcha. Hmm. Oh, and we got a level up, awesome, we're level 51 now. Pretty cool, an enchantment point earned, which I'll be sure to spend. And this also seems to be a dead end, so hopefully we can find some cool stuff. Poison spiders and never found the poison cave spiders. Gonna have to be careful. Ooh, whoa. Picked up some climbing gear, which we're definitely familiar with. That really sounds familiar to me. But still, good to get some more stuff. I think that's everything down this side. So at this rate, we can skedaddle back over here and go down the center. Oh no, <laughs> didn't mean to do that, but it'll reload in no time. We wanna keep doing the dodge roll so we can keep spawning more bee friends. They help out. Look at them out. More than you think. Whoa, creeper. Be careful about that. Flames of our arrows are spreading. 
Gotcha. Okay, the bees did some good work though too. So it looks like I'm supposed to be going down into the right, so I will go every other direction first for a little rebellious, but also just explorative. More so that. <laughs> what do we have here? Nothing. Okay. Got it. If we're quick about it, we don't get knocked off. Ah! Like I said, we have to be quick about it. We'll get the creeper first so it doesn't explode on us. Oh no, whoa. I want in doubt to slow down, I guess. Okay, we're gonna slam there and then dodge out of the way. Got a dense brew. Ouch, that one sort of hurt. But it is nice that even though we're starting at sort of a disadvantage because I haven't played in so long, some things are working out because of the fact that we're just, we were so high level from before from just thoroughly playing everything and really enjoying the game. Okay, didn't need to do anything there, I guess. What do we got over here? Okay, whoa, that TNT went flying with the wind. I can't believe this is the bonus fight. Yeah, okay. It just felt like it just kept going. There is somebody down there. And I got him. Okay, that's good. Not too much extra there, unfortunately, but it is what it is to rescue run when you're searching around. You might not find anything. Okay, so now we're going back down here across the bridge, a little center area. I know I'm super meticulous with these kind of games. I wanna explore every little bit, every corner, every direction. I know that's not everybody's cup of tea. They wanna move on to the next thing and see what's happening after. But with this, I, I really just do find joy in making sure that we can say, okay, we found everything there is to find in this level. Which of course, there is a sense of randomness with this game. You don't always get all the loot, not because you're not doing a good job at exploring, but because some of it's chance beast. So not only do you have to be good at exploring, but you have to be a bit lucky. And while that's maybe not my personal choice, I'd rather be able just to find everything on my own merit rather than luck. It is how the game is. and. You know, sometimes you just gotta appreciate those kind of things. Okay, so back over this way. Gonna fly over real quick. That's a couple more enemies moving in, but I think that means we have thoroughly cleaned this place out and I can satisfyingly move on. Well, let's get these potions. Oh, I'm freeing the, the alpaca, but it didn't seem like that. Whoa, look at those big guys over there. Whoa, not happening. Let's hit some of you. Gotcha, there are so many more on the way though. The TNT is not gonna hit as many as I would have liked. Didn't really time that very well. Come on, oh no. Oh, oh, that hurt, ow. Uh, I need to go, I'm in the fire. Whoa, that was not good. I almost died there. But we're still kicking, don't worry. Oh, will that refill my health? It will, just very slowly. Okay, what about this button? Oh, that'll unleash him. Okay, they're not very nice. They're not very nice at all. Uh, that was a mistake to make, I guess. Uh, let's run and then slam. Okay. I'm just gonna stay way back and start throwing some arrows. I got the fire arrows now. Whew. This is crazy. I got myself in so much trouble there, but somehow we're surviving it. Ow. Uh, gotcha. Jeez. More sweet berries will give me some regeneration over time. And some more alpacas to save. Was there any in this one? I guess not. There's another one. Is there any more? There's that one. Oh yeah, there's a ton of them. They all need our help. Don't worry guys, I'm doing what I can. A bunch of them are getting pushed over. I get you real fast. What about in here? I don't see a way in just yet. Gotta be a button somewhere. Okay, activate this one. Wow. Okay, swiftness potion. Gonna help a little bit. Gotcha. Another sword, or knife. I'm just gonna slice you. Got it. I see you in there, don't worry. And that's gonna be all of them. It gets us a chest, which will have a dense brew, dual crossbows, pretty cool. That's what we have equipped right now, are some dual crossbows. Uh, but those didn't look quite as powerful. 
And sometimes, especially when you're in as far of the game as we are, where we've had a full playthrough of the main game and everything, and found all the collectibles in the main game, at least when I did play through it, uh, you just, it takes a lot of luck and work and grinding to actually find new gear that would be better than what you have. Onwards and upwards. So to the, the roof of the world. Whoa, that sounds cool. It's quite the high mountain. I'll do everything I can to explore it. So what do we got here? I can't press this button. Well, I sort of made a noise, or maybe that might have been a coincidence. Oh, oh, this is an elevator that would bring us up. I guess I could try this. Going up. Whoa, this is so neat. I love it. It's interesting because this is a lot more than what you'd find in like actual Minecraft. This whole elevator that works with like a proper pulley system and everything. How cool. So I just want to, see that made like a gong noise. Again, maybe if I hit all of those, maybe that's some kind of secret. Oh, I do see, oh wait, hold on. Can I go back up? I do see some stuff over here that I can't quite get. I might have to tell it to go all the way back up. It's just a couple of things, but it would be worth it if it has any kind of extra secret. But that does have me curious. I hit both of those targets with an arrow and it did make like a gong noise. So I'll keep looking to see if there's anything more like that. Hitting it again made the noise again though. So it might just be a funny little noise it just makes. Either way, falling did hurt my health a little bit. Not the end of the world. It'll be okay. <laughs> See, look at that, it lights up now. Oh, that caused the elevator down. Okay, it's not any kind of secret. <laughs> I overthought that one for sure. Um, it just caused the elevator down if it's not where you are. Gotcha, that's so good to know. Oh, these are, whoa. Okay, let's have my potion now before things go really bad there. Gotcha, got a battle staff. See some enemies over that way. I'm sorry, little cows, but I'm just trying to get as many mobs as I can. Because I would like to make progress. Oh, I see some stuff back there. Um, With, of course, the challenges that are tied to the, the battle path stuff. More progress we make with that, the better, while we're doing our, all of our DLC adventures. Hmm, because I think, unfortunately, we missed the first season. Only so much you can do about that, right? It's in the past now. Is there more to do here? There's a treasure chest up somewhere. Maybe that elevator would, would do more than I thought? I could maybe go up here, but it doesn't lead anywhere. Okay, it must be the elevator then. Okay, let's try again. I must have missed something. I'm just gonna use that one fire arrow so that when I need more, I have more. Because there's a treasure chest to end here. I certainly missed something. But it doesn't look like it. Huh. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything. Then what exactly do I do here? It's not this. That's where I came from. Oh, can I just go up this? No. Odd. Oh, maybe over here? That's where I was. Where do I go? Oh, I see. So this isn't the highest up I can go on the elevator. I can keep going. Okay, so that's what I was missing. Look, we have a whole party waiting for us. Hey guys, let's slam them. That worked out pretty well. Got the TNT, but I'm gonna save it. Okay, now I understand. And it looks like there's more stuff over there, down there, all sorts of places. Can I go up anymore? I can go down, but I can't go up. Oh, no, wait, I didn't mean to. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, why did I do that? Um, We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Just gotta go back up, just like that. But yeah, I was really scratching my head there. I didn't know wh where to go, what to do, but now I know. And hopefully we'll never forget. I don't quite know how to get over there, but maybe it'll open itself up later. Oh, the wind is real rough. It's only for a portion of time and then I can hide. Then we go again. 
Come on, come on. Okay, I made it. Beat up some people around here. Because this is definitely a dead end. So check this out as much as I can, but there really isn't too much waiting for me. Okay, running over. Gotcha. Definitely a bit scary across here, but here's a pretty easy chest to grab. It won't have too much yet, just some arrows and some emeralds, but glad to have it. Oh my. I don't think I'm gonna be blowing off here. And there is another elevator down that line. So we could go down and end up with that. But before we do, uh oh. I hear some guys coming. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, big treasure chest with a bunch of emeralds. Enemies are coming. I wanted to open those doors, but I actually wanna go back the way I came if I can. No! Wait, okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. Don't worry. <laughs> that was very fortunate. Look at all these guys. Slam them, pick up that brew, and then go for it. Oh, they're everywhere right now. They are everywhere. They're trying to get me. Get the big guy if I can. Have another potion. Yeah, let's roll so I can create some bees. It's always very important. And there we go, big treasure chest for it. Glad to grab it. And it has the climbing gear 41, so that's actually better than what we currently have. How cool is that? And I think that's everything on this level. We're supposed to be going up, so if I call the elevator up and then go down with it, there might be some more secrets waiting for us. And while we're waiting, okay, I'll look at more of my gear, I think, later on. Because a lot of that I think we're good to recycle. Okay, so can I just, yeah, can I roll on? That was cool. So instead of going up, we're gonna go back down with this and see what's going on. I saw a couple of alpacas, but I think there's more just like in this general corner. And there's another chest, which I don't, I did not see that one. So I'm not really sure what's going on. That might be up higher. And what about that thing? So a couple of questions to answer here. What is this button about? That opened up a secret. Whoa, look at this. So cool. We have the Tempest Knife again and some TNT. But I think that's about everything that we can reach at the least. Although it's saying that there's more out that way, I can't reach it from here. So we're gonna leave it, have the elevator down here. Let's go up. How cool is this though? What a fun level so far. Really enjoying the whole theme of being up on a mountain and sort of like these layers, the verticality to it. It's really fun. So we'll go up one more time as soon as it lets me. We'll see if this is the top or not. Oh, can I? Oh, I think I can maybe, we could go up again even. So definitely look around this area, see what we can find. Nothing, <laughs> actually nothing. Um, but what about on the other side, huh? Maybe something? Because we could still go higher up. So before, I don't know what, what exactly this is gonna lead me to, if anything, you know, all that crazy. Nothing really over there. I could get myself a little hidden potion. Okay, probably didn't need to throw the TNT on that one, but I did. And we are making some good progress through level 51. Whoa, oh, the wind pushed me off. Oh, okay, so we're back here. That's a little tedious. Okay, so I'll bring the elevator back to here and go back up. But I think that was everything on that section. I think we're good to go up even farther. Yeah, get on there, go up, and then we'll go up twice. This really is the roof of the world. It just goes higher and higher and higher. It's like reaching the building limit in actual Minecraft where you just keep making a big tower and eventually just doesn't let you go up any higher. So would this be the maximum height? Yes, it is. Okay, so it doesn't let us get up any higher than that, which is fine with me. We're just going to try running around here, see what we can accomplish, what we can find. Looks like that's about everything on this side. But over here, a couple more enemies. Get some more supplies if we really need it. We have over 400 arrows though, so arguable if we even need it. So that's what the screen means here. I think that's what we can actually reach on the level we're on. Darn it, that was not good. 
Um, I thought I had timed it well enough, but no, 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 don't push me off again. <laughs> okay, ready? Go, go, go. It's a little tedious, but it's fine. We only got knocked back one level. I just need to be better at timing it. Go for it, going back up. Luckily, these uh, swift boots are so useful. You get around so much faster. I know I'm giving up probably like extra attack damage or something like that, or some move that would help me fight better. But especially in a level like this where we're already ahead in such things, you know, I, I don't mind making that trade. Okay, so let's be careful. I know that the, the wind thing is here, so I go now, and I go now, and there was nothing over here anyways. It's always the weirdest thing about randomly generated games like this is that sometimes you just don't get nothing. At least in this game, it's like that a lot, it seems. Okay, big slam on all those guys. That worked out pretty well. Well, they hit pretty hard, so I gotta be careful. Come on, gotcha. One of them went flying. Wow, oh, we get some pork. I see that too often. At least not around here. Okay, so yeah, we've done everything else. We're good to move this by. The wind is real strong with this one. Oh, don't you dare. Did that even hit it? I don't think so. Let's make a bumblebee. No, he knocked me off. How rude. Okay, uh. Gonna go. There's a big gap there. And you can see the markers on the floor and where it's gonna be. I need potions very soon. It's almost available. Open the gate. Okay, I'll do that in just a moment. We have over 400 arrows. So I might just want to keep my distance from here. Fight them as much as I can with that. Even though my melee definitely does a bit more damage. So it really just depends on the circumstance. Got it. Here comes some more. And I'm sure we'll run into a boss or something at the end of this. Oh no. <laughs> Let's not worry about that just yet. Gotcha. Whoa. I don't know if we've seen that wizard guy. Okay, we did it. No, we didn't. Uh, well, we sort of did, but just keep going, just keep going. Come on, slice him. Got him. Pretty good. So I wanted to get this pot with all those emeralds, but I think that's everything in this direction. Yeah. So, we did pretty well. Have we reached the summit? This guy is so strong, these, I forget what they're called. But they're so powerful. Oh gosh, door's closing off again, you know what that means. We're about to fight our way through all this. Even though we could just go over here, run away from it. Funny that I only locked off one of the doors. It's really not even spawning too many enemies. So I can't just slice them, no problem. So we're now more than halfway through level 51, which is nice. I'd love to get level 52 in today's episode. We'll have to see how far we end up going. But there's a treasure chest for us, pretty cool. Back this way will give me another. It will, huh, sneaky. Okay, so let me see what you got here. I might as well slam on these guys or totally miss. Whoops. I'm just ready for them. Took a little bit of damage, or so yeah, I'll grab that stuff. A couple more. And that's gonna be it. This one gave me much better stuff. Picked up another dual crossbow. Unfortunately, not as good as the one I currently have, but you never know. We got better climbing gear before. Let's so open the gate, the roof of the world. Oh, there is a little alpaca to save over this way. I got you, buddy, don't you worry. That's one of them. Is there more? Just have to keep moving forward to see. It opened up that gate for sure. Oh, let's throw that over that way. Whoa, somebody, I guess this is what the guy with the tall hat does. No! Oh! Where am I? Oh man, what in the world just happened? I'm not sure, but it's okay. Can I get you from here? I don't think I can, I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> this guy is just like, well, I'm stuck. I don't know what blew me off. It must be this wind guy. So I really want to do away with him. And there's more of more of him over there. Jeez, that was crazy. I can't go over that way. I just truly was not expecting it. 
Okay, this is definitely an extra area. With a pot and another pot. Emeralds are good. We're over 4,000 now, so take as many as I can get. So I can't go under there. Oh, so there's a lot of guys. Gonna slam them. Oh, that was so good. I love it. Grab that chest. They don't know where I am just yet. Can do that big sneak up attack. Got it. There's still so much more. This level is quite long too. I remember some of the DLC levels feeling a bit short, but this one, it just keeps giving and giving. We gotta be coming up on the end soon, I only imagine, but one of the emeralds went flying. I guess I'm not getting that one. Oh, have we made it? The big bridge. I'm gonna run through this as fast as I can. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't want anything to blow me off. Okay, more enemies waiting for me on the other side. Whoa, okay, I tried the dodge at. I don't know if I did the best of job. Another nice thing about the fire arrows is it has sort of an area of damage. Try to make the most, of it. it sort of goes through a couple of them, which is real nice. So what is this about? Oh no, got more wind guys. So I could just run over there, deal with them. Great, I need to use my potion. Oh, it's a puzzle, okay. Um. Oh, okay, so you can see the winds coming out of this. I think we're supposed to lead the wind onto the wall. That makes sense. So if I wanna do that, I need to hit this, and hit it again, and that opens it. Pretty nifty. So we're allowed in. Open the gate. What's gonna be next? Victory! After weathering both elements and adversaries to reach the summit, a hidden sanctum is revealed among the peaks. So it took a ton of work but we got through the first level in the Howling Peaks DLC, the withering, the windswept peaks. Very cool, so we took 6,000 damage, we defeated 94% of the mobs, hit 68% projectiles, and we did over 7,000 damage. That's pretty darn good. Uh, let's see what we get for that in our big treasure chest, hopefully something nice. It is the Windhorn, which I think we've seen before when the Windhorn echoes throughout the forest of the overworld, the creatures of the night tremble with fear. Okay, some really cool stuff there. And let's see, have I gotten a Windhorn before? I think that'd be in the artifacts. Um, because I try to keep one of each. Yeah, I have a Windhorn, but this one's a little bit better. So I suppose I will salvage that one. And let's take a look at some of our other gear. So we had uh, the Tempest Knife. I really don't need, so I guess we could salvage it. This was our best one, and even that doesn't compare to what we had here. So I think we're just gonna salvage all these to make some quick emeralds. The only thing I really wanted to keep, of course, was this Jailer Scythe. It's a really rare, unique weapon. Um, the Battle Staff, not looking as good, so we'll recycle that, this too. But do we have enough points to improve anything? I don't think so. Yeah, we don't have a third tier for this weapon, unfortunately. I don't know if there's a way to upgrade that. Uh, but here, for this, the dual crossbows, I actually haven't upgraded too much either. But we have two crossbows here. I don't need either of them. Yeah, so it's just comparing that one with these two. But I think I'll just keep with this. Because the hard crossbow was fun now. This is a 69 times five. This is 81 times two. Maybe I should try this one a bit more. Because it already has the upgrades. This has um, power boost arrow damage and then chance to immediately replenish arrow after shooting. So that would keep me with a lot more arrows. But with this one, I didn't even have any. I didn't put anything in there. Okay. And I guess, I don't know how to check to see. I guess this one has two slots, this one only has three. So why don't I keep with this one? Well, this one's fun too. I remember it now. Okay, so the blacksmith over here wants our attention. Upgrade complete. Okay, so I guess I... Collect your item reroll its power. I didn't realize I had this stuff here. My grave theme and my hammer of gravity. I will really have to take a look at these between episodes to decide what I want to do. But I wanted to see what progress I made in the adventure hub. So, um, hard to tell. I'm at rank two. So I got some rewards, I guess. 
Yeah, I guess, um, oh, I see. So this is rank one. I got some emeralds for it. Rank two is empty when you're free. But we just gotta keep going. And eventually we could get there, you know, 54. Where we get things like capes. We get different little guys. That's so cute. I like it. Um, and different, uh, things like that. Could I still make progress with this first one, I wonder? You can buy the adventure pass to unlock pretty much items. But I don't know if I can make any progress with it, you know? I don't know. Either way, right now we'll just focus on this. Um, and get what I could get, which is this reward, some extra emeralds. And was there more? Oh yeah, okay. Um, so hopefully we'll get there eventually, and maybe at that point I'll purchase the uh, Adventure Pass. We'll have to wait and see. I don't know how much time is left with this. But we also have some weekly challenges, like defeat mobs. So if I keep going with all this stuff, pretty cool. Anyways. I do want to see, what, are, what about like the luxury merchant? What do you have? You have the wind bow, which seems pretty nice, but not better than what I have. I can pay to get it restocked. I don't think I want to do that quite yet. We have the mystery merchant, so I can buy some mystery items. I need to defeat more enchanted mobs to unlock more of them too. That's neat. Gives me a random melee weapon, a random armor, cool. That's the kind of stuff I really want to look into, figure out more. Look at a little pup, we can pet him. Achievement unlocked, pet the dog, adorable. I love it. So yeah, there's probably tons of extra secrets and things added to the game. So if you guys wanna see me do more, definitely let me know. But for right now, I think that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Minecraft Dungeons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.